When I first spoke to Sean about this amazing lady he met on a bench in South Quad on Notre Dame's um, campus, I could tell you were going to be special from the intonation in Sean's voice. You fit in so seamlessly into our family and share the same values that I admire in Sean. You have a beautiful spirit, an incredible voice, a creative mind, and a loving heart. And today, I'm proud to call you my sister. But I'll say it in front of everyone how incredibly beautiful you both look. Um, just absolutely stunning. I can't speak on behalf of Sean's tux, but I can say that I was there when Margaret picked out that dress that she's wearing. <laughs> you, you found it on the again. sale rack, actually. <laughs> And uh, I kid you not, the very first store we went to, the very first dress she pulled off the rack is the one that she's wearing right now. <laughs> and Margaret said, when she pulled it off the rack, she said, Mary, this is it, this is the one. And I said, Margaret, you're gonna look amazing in that dress, but we need to do some more shopping. <laughs> so then we went to a few more stores just to make me happy. <laughs> But it's in typical Margaret fashion that when things take the average person a, a significant amount of effort, Margaret seems to do it with no effort at all. So it didn't really surprise me that she found that dress in one single swift attempt. We love you both so very much and are so happy you found each other. Please everyone raise your glasses to my very to my very best friend and brother, and to his beautiful new wife. May God bless you both with a lifetime full of health, peace, and happiness. And may all your dreams come true. To love another person is to see the face of God. At the very heart and center of the vow that you will say to one another in a few moments is this promise that you will love each other and in that see the face of God. What you are promising today, what you are staking your whole lives on, is that God who initiated this union will multiply and bless the love he has already given to you. That your love will be so sincere and so strong that you will convince each other more and more of God's unconditional love for you. while I wasn't waiting specifically for you, it was you who came. Suddenly, just another bench became the most wonderful bench in the world. Since I was young, I always be begged my parents for a baby brother. What I didn't know is he would end up looking like Simba from The Lion King, even though his birth predates the original movie by three years. Today, just another day, becomes the most wonderful day in the world. You'll be sitting next to me. This time though, it will be forever. I can't wait to meet you there. I'll see you soon, my love. Love, Margaret. most importantly in my mind unconditional love when you see margaret and sean in front of their students you just know that they have an unconditional love for those children 
And to me, that means you guys have an amazing marriage ahead of you if you can have that unconditional love for each other that you also show your students. Beautiful! That's it! That's it! I'm so excited! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for coming to celebrate the happiest of occasions, my little brother's marriage to his lovely bride, Margaret. Margaret, you look absolutely beautiful tonight, and I can't think of anyone who I'd rather join our family or a better wife for my brother than you. Spend 32 straight hours with Margaret on a drive from Tucson to Ohio. And if you ever get a chance to spend 32 straight hours with Margaret, I highly recommend it. Um, I do remember that I realized Mark was ready to get married when she spent more time on the phone talking to Sean during those 32 hours than she did talking to me. We had a, we had a blast. Sean's a wonderful gentleman. Um, we're happy to have him in the, in the Prankle family, and I know the Sullivans are happy to have Margaret in theirs. So I congratulate them. Margaret, stop! I got a surprise for you! I'm singing!